Praise the Lord. While we remain standing, let's equally lift up our voices to the Lord and pray for the servant of God, whom he had used these three full days to impart our lives. Open your mouth and pray that the Lord will bless him more and more. The Lord will increase him. The Lord will strengthen him every day. Renewed strength. Renewed vision. This vision the Lord has given him. That the strength to carry on. The grace. The anointing and the power. The Lord will increase upon his life. As his days. So shall his strength be. He'll not be weary. He'll be stronger and stronger. The Lord will continue to bless him. As God is using him to bless multitudes all over the globe. God will bless him every day. Increase him and take him higher. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, we are grateful unto you for the great things you've done for us. Friday morning, Saturday for our youths and professionals and all those uh, campus people. Sunday morning was wonderful. We came in here yesterday morning. We thought we had all of it. And today you've opened up to us in a more higher way. Revelations had come to build us up. To bless us, to make us better, stronger, to make us more visionary. We are grateful for all you have revealed to us. Your word had come into our lives. You've given courage, you've given strength, full assurance, knowing that we must keep on. In relationship with you. And anything that will bring defilement, corruption, anything that will bring damnation, anything that will bring negative report, you've told us categorically we must not allow it in our lives. So we don't accept excess luggage from the devil that will disqualify anyone. Your will for us is to live right, holy, pure. On daily basis, in expectation of your coming. Keep us all ready. You have used your servant to bless us. Bless him more. More anointing upon him. We pray, eternal father, as his days, so shall his strength be. People can't age for him. Yes, you have allowed him to attain this great age. But Lord, a prayer and desire for him, O oh God, is that you will grant him longevity. His anointing and power will increase. Bless him, O oh Lord. Keep him strong and healthy. Everyone is desirous to have him here again in this city, in this state. We believe as you lead him, O oh God, you'll give him the time to come back. Yeah. Almighty God and Father, it's been a time. You brought your servant at this time. You have used him to bless multitudes. Many people who didn't even come for the crusade, Right in the comfort of their rooms. 
the God connected and you are ministering to them, you are blessing them. Father, it's been great. You've made it great. And his desire is that we should go higher. And that desire will be fulfilled. Like the father who prayed that his children will go higher than him. He has prayed, he has said it. So Lord, we'll pray you confirm it. And he also, as we seek him, marching gallantly and moving forward, we will thank God for his life. What you have done for him, O oh Lord, we know his grace that has exemplified itself in him. From that 1973 till this day, 50 years had passed, and you're still keeping your servant forging ahead. Father, we pray more blessing. Multiply your grace upon him. We thank you because he's living here. He's going to another place. The strength. Oh Lord our God, carry him through. The next location is going, oh Lord, greater things will happen there. Because you are the one who is piloting him and taking him on this journey. And so long as he follows you, things will begin to unfold. Our God, we are grateful. Thank you for the answer. We give you all praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.